Hey, in this video I want to share with you three ways that you can know that you're actually closer to your purpose than you may realize. And I watched a great video by a guy named Victor, a uh, really cool guy, a really nice guy. I'll put a link below so you can check it out after. But there were, he shared five things. I'm going to share three that really resonate with me. Number one is that there's a growing dissatisfaction in your life, right? I feel like when we're getting closer to really getting more clear on our purpose, we start to maybe be, be more dissatisfied with where we are. And I'll definitely, I'll make more videos about how to be maybe more at peace with where we are in our journey because that's a challenge that I've had for a long time. So I might make more videos on that. But if there's a growing dissatisfaction of like, I'm not happy where I am. There's so much more that I want to be doing. There's so much more that I feel like I'm capable of doing. I feel like I'm put on this planet for way more than what I'm doing right now. And if that seems to be growing and growing and growing, that might be a sign they're actually closer to your purpose than you may realize. I know at the time, in my experience, that actually felt like I was going further away from my purpose because I felt like, how the hell am I getting closer to my purpose if I feel worse and worse and worse, right? If I feel more dissatisfaction with my life, how can I be getting closer? But now, I guarantee, now looking back into my life, I can definitely tell you that you are actually getting closer to your purpose. I, I know it might sound crazy, it might sound weird, but I've seen it in my life and other people have talked about this. You're actually getting closer to living your purpose, being in that place of living in your purpose. Then number two was very interesting and def I really, really, really agree with this one. I really, it really resonates with me. He said that life pushes you out. I think that's what he wrote in the video. In my life, when things were not meant for me, I think God, the universe, life, whatever you want to call it, it just does everything it can to push you out and get you on your path, on the direction that you're meant to be and that you want to go. I think, going back to the satisfaction thing, right? I started to work as a trainer and then eventually I was like, okay, but I want to do more. There's more that I want to do. And then, I, I was in the process of becoming a dietitian, so then when I became a dietitian, I started working with that and I was like, ah, I don't really like this, like, I, I believe more in holistic health, right? And then I went into that and I was like, okay, but how many times am I going to tell people to eat more veggies, drink more water, regulate their sleep, exercise the right amount, the right way, and like, I was like, I want to go deeper, I really want to find out what, why we do what we do, why don't we do what we want to do. So I started getting closer and closer and closer. So with everything that I was trying, there was that growing dissatisfaction. But also then as I was a trainer, and I worked at, a, I worked at many different gyms, right? And there was one where I worked where beautiful people, I loved working there, like clients, the co-workers, I loved it. It, it, was, it was beautiful. But the owners, maybe the relationship wasn't that beautiful. I don't know, maybe we were very different. I was a little rebellious and I love doing things maybe in ways that they didn't want me to do them and they wanted me to do exactly like it was very very uh, challenging for me I felt like chained and then eventually they said like we respect that you have a different point of view when it comes to holistic health but here <laughs> we do it this way so basically I had to shut my mouth and I couldn't talk about holistic health anymore right and that was like, holy, like, that was just like, they just stabbed me, like, I couldn't, it truly felt like, it, it really hurt, like, I was like, okay, so one of my biggest passions, I can't talk about it anymore. Uh, so I was like, okay, this is a sign, that, that's, that's a sign, that's a sign that I'm not meant to be here. This is not for me, maybe I'm meant to be somewhere else. And things like that kept happening, right? Then I tried uh, to have my own business on different things and it didn't work out. And now I see maybe it was because I'm not, I wasn't meant to do that. I know that that wasn't my biggest passion, right? 
because I wasn't getting clients, things were not working out. And now I'm doing more of like life coaching and emotional healing and all that kind of stuff. And I love it. Oh my God, I absolutely love it. And I want to keep getting better and better and better to keep helping more people. And I think life was maybe kind of like directing me that way so that eventually I would find that and realize, okay, this is where I'm meant to be. And that might change. It will change. But at least you get some idea, right? But I do believe that life directs you, right? And I heard well, Wayne Dyer say once that sometimes the way that God sends you that message of this is not for you, maybe you get fired or you get like something like that, a big thing in your life that to you might be very challenging, very like you freaking hate it, right? You, you don't understand why it's happening, but maybe, maybe it's the universe, God, life just kicking you out of a place, a situation, a career, a relationship because you're meant for something better, bigger, whatever. So I really, I can definitely relate to that one and I've seen it in so many people's lives and I think if you really look at your life, right, sometimes we need to take a step back and look at our life from a different point of view, right? You might realize that that might actually be true for you right now. You might be going through that right now. So hope that helps. I really hope that helps. Number three, the last one I want to share. He said there's a growing desire for fulfillment, right? So maybe it's like, it's not about the money anymore, right? When I started, it was all about the money. Maybe now you're realizing, like, I want more. Like, I want a deeper sense of fulfillment. I want to feel like what I'm doing matters. I want to feel like I matter. I want to feel like what I'm doing is leaving a mark here on earth for the time that I was here, right? When I'm gone, what kind of legacy am I leaving, right, behind me? I think that's beautiful. I think that that desire for an actual deep fulfillment is so beautiful and that can be your career it doesn't need to only be career because I know a lot of people have that challenge of like my career doesn't give me that opportunity to feel that deep sense of fulfillment but maybe you can find um, community service things to do or things like that I'll make more videos than that but I feel like when that's growing you when, you, when it's like I want to do something bigger like I want to I want to impact people's lives right Maybe I want to leave the world better for the next generation. I want to, I don't know, I don't know. There's so many things that I want to do personally, but you might relate to that, like maybe going just for the money or going for whatever you were going, you realize like there's empty holes like that I, that's not filling up, right? That's not very fulfilling. The money is great. I mean, we all want money, all right? Let, let's be real. Like, money is something that we need and something that's very beneficial and beautiful to have, right? But sometimes it's not, not just about that. It goes deeper, right? It goes way, way deeper. And you might notice that that growing desire for actual fulfillment, like deep sense of fulfillment, that might be a sign that you're actually getting closer and closer and closer to your purpose. And I know... It can be discouraging when you don't know what it is, when you can't find it, when it doesn't seem to work out. But if you really love it, if it's something that truly deeply fulfills you and it just makes your heart sing and makes you light up and just brings that inner child out of you, it makes you happy, it makes you want to sing and dance and fool around and be you. If that's what's in your heart, that's the idea that you have that you want to bring out to the world, then please don't give up. Please, please keep going because maybe that beautiful idea chose you. Maybe your gift chose you so that you can bring that beautiful thing to the world. So please, please, please keep going. Find that in your heart. Find that thing that fuels you, that fire that lights you up. Surround yourself with people that help you move forward that actually encourage you and not discourage you with oh but what if no surround yourself with people that actually lift you up higher and you'll do the same for them so 
I hope that helps. I really hope that helps. Thank you, Victor, for that great video. I'll put the link below so you can check it out. Really cool guy, great channel. So I really hope that helps. Let me know below what you think. Please like it, subscribe, share, whatever you want to do, or don't do anything if you don't want to, but I really hope this inspires you to continue to follow that beautiful search for your purpose. But not only search, but actually do start doing and move forward. Have a beautiful day.